What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and today we are going behind the mask, baby. We are going Kiss No Makeup, their first album to do so. Lick it up. And this was a huge event, maybe at the time. I don't know if people cared about Kiss then or if this was a grasp at trying to stay relevant by taking the makeup off. I don't know, but it delivered this album that I can say right out the gate is one that I feel is a weaker point in their discography, but I'll get right into it. Number 10, Young and Wasted. It's just a bad song. I hate the chorus. And a lot of this album is unfortunately going to be that outside of three or four songs, you could trash the rest. There, there's nothing special about them to me in this album. It, it's, it's not for me. Funny enough, my wife knows nothing about Kiss or music. She's just actually really bad at pop culture, anything. I introduce her to music. That's how she hears it. And I had this playing to do this review so I could hear the songs. When I came back in the room cleaning, she was actually dancing to this album. So everyone has their own opinions. And it's just funny that one of my lowest ranked Kiss albums, she was in here grooving her ass off to. But to continue with my list, number nine, the exact opposite of what I want from this album, Give Me More. Same complaints as the last song. The chorus is terrible. There's so many bad harmonies in this album is what I think does it for me. They have such weak choruses where usually in Kiss they have a very strong pop to a chorus and this album just falls flat on that number eight a million to one paul is going so hard with his vocals that it's in it it's not, it's insufferable to listen to this song honestly and i'm not i'm usually not a negative person i try not to be so negative but I, there's just not a lot for me to offer this album number seven all hell breaking loose the spoken word stuff is very annoying by paul then you have this like van halen-esque background vocals when the band finally kicks in uh, number six fits like a glove the backing vocals uh, again the, the harmonies this album falls really flat with all of those number five dance all over your face lyrically the chorus is terrible like dance all of your face is bad but musically it sounds good i like the way this song actually sounds musically lyrically i think it is pretty uh, a pretty big low point but there's some musicianship coming into this this album here that i like and coming in number four on the eighth day i don't ever like rock anthems lyrically the the power rock songs where it's like yeah we're gonna let's rock and roll no one can tell us we can't it's the equivalent of like the female country power songs where they're like like they get cheated on. They're like, I'm gonna go fucking bash his truck in and I'm gonna cut his dog's head off and I'm gonna burn his house down and punch his mother. Insert whatever Miranda Lambert song you want to right there. She's it's similar to that. I hate songs that like they're just so yeah, let's go do this one thing. Anyway, that was a tangent. Musically, it's a strong song. The lyrics aren't bad. They're just not something I care for. But it's, it's compared to the rest of the album, it is a more complete song. Which brings me into my top three. Number three, their big hit off this, Lick It Up. I definitely love this song live. Live, this song kicks hard. It's not a bad song. They make fun of it on Family Guy when Brian's turning into a douche who drives a Hummer. That's his whole character arc is to be a douche who drives a Hummer. Every single stage in that Hummer is only Lick It Up by Kiss, no matter which one he switches it to. That's what I always think of with it. But they sound good here. The energy they have is what I, I think they wanted to bring to this whole album, but it just kind of fell flat in a lot of areas, whereas this song really kept it together, kept it high energy, good harmonies, everything you could ask for. Number two, Exciter. Solid lead off to the album, really gets the juices going. And unfortunately, the top three tracks of this album, when you hear them, you think the, this album is about to go hard. And then it, it just dwindles off from there. But those top three songs are big, and it all starts with Exciter coming in really hard out the gate gets a good feel for it it shows yeah we got our makeup off but we are here to put on some music a little bit but number one not for the innocent this is a traditional sounding kiss song you got heavy riffs you got a good verse you got a good chorus nice hook gene sounds good i like this song it's the best one on the album again this album i i'm sorry if i'm negative and you love this album put it down in the comments let me know your track listing did you love this did you hate this for me it's nothing terrible or egregious 
but this album just lacks a lot of anything I care to come back and listen to other than one or two, maybe three songs. It's one that I will always gloss over, skip over. I have no reason to stop and click a song on this album, but you might be different. Put it all down. Like, comment, subscribe. I apologize if this video is a little more negative. It is like four in the morning before I go to work. Just ripped some coffee. Need to get some of these recorded while I can. Thank you guys for the love. Thank you guys for the support. You guys are the best. Peace. How should we end the scene, Brian? Sam Elliott or Kiss Lick It Up? Why not both? Lick it up. Lick it up. Oh, yeah. That's about all I care to read of that.